Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Ijinanade Nagato-san, episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode, we uh, had a big section of a certain part of the like episode was of the fireworks festival not fireworks sorry summer festival and uh we saw how like you know senpai <laughs> was kind of like you know thinking like is nagato going to call me but unfortunately nagato had club work so she did not and senpai went to the summer festival in hopes of meeting her and then <laughs> nagato's friends caught him and sent a photo and nagato came rushing to save senpai so that's what basically happened and it was great like you know like it it really like the previous episode was basically uh seeing how senpai changed you know like as nagatoro says that if you really wanted to call like you know like invite me you should have taken the initiative and senpai does that in the end and he says that next year like let's come here again and that's a big like you know progress from the previous senpai from episode one senpai you know and in the end as well like the little section in the end where we see nagatoro and her friends and there's this two like you know two main two male characters who comes and like you know was kind of like on, on top of them almost like you know uh, kind of like you know annoying them and all and senpai <laughs> like even though like the branch gave his like you know uh, his position away he came outside like you know in, in front of everyone and told them that let's go like you know like no need to stay here anymore and nagatoro was like you know the the smiley nagatoro's face as like <laughs> like senpai took the initiative it was such a like it was such a great episode uh, by the end of it and we also met sakura the new character technically she's not a new character we met her in first episode but now we can see her face properly so yeah that's something so yeah and it was great like you know it was like character development episode for senpai so let's see what this episode is about this is episode number eight of ijana dinagata san so without further ado let's get started so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Oh. Huh. Then bite. <laughs> the face. <laughs> the face is like Nagatoro makes. Oh, okay, this is something unexpected. Duck. <laughs> That's a great comparison. Come on, Senpai. Well, that's true, but <laughs> I'm an artist. Oh, there is. What's that? What? Um. Wait, is she going to like? <laughs> is she going to like? Like? Oh yeah, she's going to sit on him. <laughs> Oh my god. Um Yeah, this All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and also your like, you know, core muscles. I think so. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Before the pain, something else is going to <laughs> bother him. Five. Oh my god. Yeah, that's impossible. For a complete amateur to do. Oh.
Oh my god. This is... Oh no, some, someone's going to... Ah, there it is. I knew something like this was going to happen when I saw the door was open. Wow, what a start. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, like... How old are they even? I don't remember. Like, you know, I'm guessing the middle schoolers or high schoolers. So, like, having, like, you know, thin, like, what can I say? Arms. It's quite natural in that age, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I realize it now, like, after being, like, you know, teased by Nagatoro so much, <laughs> like, Nagatoro is, like, you know, letting him, like, go, go to the, like, you know, everywhere, like, the beach, the summer, uh, like, you know, festival, and everything, like, this muscle training, uh, all other things, like, Senpai will become a master of everything, you know, like, going through Nagatoro's training. <laughs> Like he, like in each and every, like, you know, aspect, he'll be like, literally like a master <laughs> by the end. <laughs> oh my God. That will be funny. Right. That might actually be fun, Senpai. Okay. <laughs> Sleeping. Gumpyo Yagura. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four days. <laughs> Senpai's gaming. Yeah. <laughs> wow <laughs> she got it at one chance chance <laughs> as a result oh okay <laughs> well senpai will not be a senpai anymore then <laughs> <laughs> what? He won't be a senpai anymore then. What? Um. What's that logic? That's a really weird logic. Yeah. Oh, he, he probably might be on the same class as Nagatoro, if that happens. <laughs> no more senpai. <laughs> senpai. That's a great name. <laughs> Moto senpai. <laughs> All <laughs> lab behind. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh no, the. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's not, he's still not ex senpai, he's still senpai. Oh. Okay, that was a bit straightforward.
Oh my god. <laughs> wow, okay. Damn, Senpai is like... <laughs> taking initiative. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. My friends are also here. <laughs> oh my god, these guy girls, these two girls with kind of third time, then they'll become Kohai. <laughs> no more senpai. It'll be a Kohai. <laughs> Senpai of the Python, all right. Then he'll have to call them Senpai. <laughs> Upper classmen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that, that... Three minutes. Wow. <laughs> Smooth. Panda and koala. Wait. Yeah, that also works. <laughs> yeah, this will be bad. So you better study, senpai. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure he won't. Uh, like you know, game ag after. Oh. Oh, except Toro, my Nagata. Wow, that was... So Nagata is good at studying, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh damn. That's, yeah, really good. <clears throat> so what happened to the others? <laughs> boba? What's a boba? Is it the statue of a... Yeah, yeah, I think so. Whoa, what's the song? Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Okay, what's happening there? Oh! Oh my god. Um <laughs> Open the door Nagatoro oh, Sakura is also there <laughs> what, what are they even doing? Um What mas massaging him or something? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> oh god. Um Yeah, let's see. Wait, what? What are they even doing? Clipping his nails? Oh my god. Okay. What? That... 
That's how you do it? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> nice! Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Face. Oh, so that's what happened. Okay. Oh, so that's how the thing got in. Hmm. Oh, oh, so that's where the. What if Nagato loses? <laughs> All right, scissors. Oh, I lost. Damn. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Senpai, you're supposed to lose. What the hell? Like, <laughs> oh, she really is carrying it. Wow, that's good. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh, now they won't do that Yeah <laughs> Okay, they're here. Oh, th she's still doing it. Okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm sure he'll win again. She's using her slow motion power. Let's go. Um, come on, paper, senpai, paper. There you go. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> nice. No. What? Oh, the training, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the weight training. Oh, damn! Oh, <laughs> wow! What's that? Like, oh, <laughs> this is an octopus slap. <laughs> All right. Okay, are they going to do it again? All right, this is the last one. Best out of two, let's see. Who wins? Oh, another one. What? What? Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is pretty awkward. Well, obviously, like... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm like no one's on the streets. That's like like no one's in the streets. What the hell? I'm guessing it's kind of like you know the evening, so people are. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Oh my god. Okay. She's, uh... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> run! Run away! <laughs> she runs away. <laughs> um, no, I don't think that was the problem. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Hmm. oh, there. Let's see. Thank you for holding my stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, she's the same. Pop quiz. What? Like texting? I guess. <laughs> You're talking with Senpai now, so. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Why is she calling? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He fell down, wow. Oh my god, he, com he completely fell down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he <laughs> Wow. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, this is... Um <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Nagatoro Nagatoro <laughs> Well yeah <laughs> Oh Oh my god Oh my god <laughs> Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, but still, you know. I guess it's not really for me to decide. True. Oh, they're still on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, this. Yeah. Okay, I think that's the end. Wow, all right. N nice, like, you know. <clears throat> So the previous episode was Senpai's character development and this episode is Nagatoro always like you know getting embarrassed like but like like all the times didn't she yeah I think so like each and every like you no know, small little division that we had in this episode like in the, it ended the same way <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> oh so yeah what episode? This is episode 8, isn't it? I'm really, like, you know, impressed at how fast things are developing. Uh, like, I don't know, like, uh, for these, at least for these type of animals, like, I expect 
everything to go very slow you know like what can i say mm, after season one like season one or season two some kind of development i'm guessing like 100 manga chapters or something so like it's really like it's really good to see like things developing quickly and <laughs> like and it's really great like you know like they're still keeping things fresh like it's not like you know the usual like slice of lifey type of episodes like there is okay that's the end there's something like you know something new in every episode in <clears throat> you know regarding a lot of things for example um okay the first step like this episode had a lot of divisions the first step the division was when we uh like you know when uh, nagatoro kind of um <laughs> <laughs> tells him to do muscle training and like you know they get embarrassed when Nagatoro was like you know sitting on top of him and kind of like you know acting as a, like you know um, like behaving like a you know like go go senpai go and senpai was a horse or something and people saw from the outside like that's the first like you know like embarrassment that she felt in this episode like you know and that was on the lesser side <laughs> and uh, like that was really short and then we come to the next portion where is the 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 what's it called the test uh where senpai has this test and like and here again like you know uh first of all the whole thing with like you know them kind of commenting about how senpai if he fails is going to repeat a year and they'll become classmates and then like after they become classmates if they like you know fail again like then they'll become like you know senpai will become their like you know they'll become his senpai and all and when like you know when the like nagator was saying that oh like you're going to be on a, in the same class and everything and <laughs> senpai said okay like yeah that might not be too bad you know if it's nagator <laughs> that's the second embarrassment that nagator faced in this episode you know so <clears throat> like yeah like that really like uh, like i i usually forget like you know that they're actually like on different different classes i usually forget because all the time like you know we're seeing them in this club room i think we never saw them in their respective class i think only one time as far as i can remember one or two times like when we saw them in the respective classes <clears throat> and that's why like you know i usually I, like all, all the time i kind of forget that yeah they are actually like you know in like you know different classes in different like you know that like senpai is actually his her senpai like that kind of like you know <laughs> like i forget about that like it's like you know the, it has become kind of like mind my mind has kind of accustomed itself to like hearing senpai so much that it's as if his name is senpai now like you know like i all like we, we always like you know kind of uh refer to him as senpai senpai i don't even know if they mentioned his name they didn't mention his name did they yeah i think so they never mentioned his name so like you know we always refer to him as senpai senpai so it's as if like you know like at least for me like you know i think like oh like that's senpai like senpai has literally become became his name so like i like you know i i kind of forgot about the whole thing that yeah senpai is actually like you know uh designation that is yeah i'm the senpai i'm the upper class you know upper classman and you are the kohai that is you're the underclassman <clears throat> i'm uh like a senior than you like that that completely like left my mind and this like you know like <laughs> when they're talking i realized oh like yeah they are actually supposed to be in different classes and in different like you know in different uh years and he's actually the senpai <laughs> it's funny uh, you know and uh, yeah then like as i said like you know nagatoro became like embarrassed when like senpai became too truthful <laughs> you know and then like like here is here it is like you know you can see the contrast the first episode you know and this episode and senpai himself saying that oh it might not be too bad like, you know like the contrast like you can see how he himself is getting accustomed to everything and like he's like you know he, he's not bothered by it now <clears throat> so 
yeah and then we get to the next portion where we like her friends also join into the whole fun of like you know making like teasing him and <laughs> like they were kind of like commenting again like oh like you know like then we'll like make you do our stuff like you'll be like our like you know little like, what can i say like you know errand boy like you know like <laughs> like massage my hand or bring me this bring me that all of these stuff and uh and if you begin if, if like you know senpai becomes a kohai that's even better you know like <laughs> like his life will completely be <laughs> what can i say like you know under there like you know like they'll always like say stuff and say that okay yeah do you do this you do that and he was kind of imagining it and he realized that yeah like games will be there but i need to study to get out of this mess you know so and <clears throat> then come in comes sakura and she says that Oh, you don't have to worry because they are even in a worse position than you. Probably will be the ones repeating. <laughs> and she's kind of said that Naruto is an exception. Like, like I kind of like noticed this. Naruto is like for, uh, previously as well. Like Naruto is good at studying, which is quite like you know usually not what actually happens in these type of animes. Uh, so like yeah, like she she's like good at studying. Like she's like you know she doesn't have the problem of like. Uh, repeating classes <laughs> so yeah anyways so that and uh like so after that like they kind of like you know like friends naruto's friends say that oh, okay then senpai like you teach us and naruto gets mad <laughs> oh lord <clears throat> okay it's just a sec um all right and then like you know the, that happened okay and then the next thing that is the whole thing with the 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 thing that the thorn that whatever that is like the splinter that got into senpai's hand and i don't know why they were making those kind of like you know sound effects i have no idea how that even happens but you know like this is anime so yeah <laughs> and like you know like nagatoro gets mad at that and <laughs> she comes in and shows them how to properly do it in a matter of seconds she like you know pulls out that thorn and <laughs> you know and then like because of that like you know the jealousy of that uh like you know that's that that thing uh narratora says that oh like so you should also like you know carry my bag and pai says no why should i narratora says okay then let's have a match and <laughs> Like I knew something like this is going to happen when like you know Nagatoro like is probably going to lose and she lost for the like you know in the beginning and the way she was fuming you know like, Senpai knew like if he won the next time as well Nagatoro will be completely like you know like you know, she's go completely <laughs> like you know mad at that so the whole slow motion thing like they do it Senpai loses deliberately and yeah the whole back thing happens and then in the end i thought probably senpai is going to win in the last match but senpai lost again and <laughs> that brought us to the whole next section of number 3 how nagatoro gets embarrassed again she says that okay like you know like why why only my back you, you should carry me as well so <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like the whole like i'm one thing i'm really impressed is like the like senpai was actually able to carry her for that long like like you know it's like a, like a human being you know like so i'm sure like the weight is not something that someone who is not accustomed to do this you know like do like heavy lifting or something like uh, in physical like you know as the kind as i thought kind of commented before that her like you know he is not accustomed to do all of these physical things so that's what i'm really impressed about is how she, like you know he was able to carry her for so long like i was not expecting that i thought maybe like you know she he's going to get tired or something but <laughs> you know anyways and then like you know like <laughs> the whole thing happens <laughs> and there was actually sleeping <laughs> and sent i kind of like and adjust the position <laughs> oh my god so, like langator gets embarrassed and runs out of that like you know situation like she doesn't even say anything you know she just says the same pipe stop you gonna gets down and runs <laughs> in the opposite direction <laughs> in full speed 
<laughs> I was not expecting that, you know. I, I was thinking maybe she was going to get embarrassed and like, you know, say something and like, just like in the classroom that happened, like, you know. But like, she wasn't able to say anything. She just said the stop, came down and just ran. And like, you know, on the opposite direction. <laughs> That's the third time she gets embarrassed. Now for the fourth time. In the next section, we see the whole, like, you know, senpai kind of like doing his own thing. Nagatoro first texting him and then like, you know, calling him, voice calling him. And <laughs> she thought that, okay, like, I'm going to tease him again. And she really was in the bath and kind of like, you know, like, <clears throat> saying that, okay, like, senpai, like, you're imagining it, aren't you? Like, and all of that. And like, she was having the time of her life. Little did she know that... <laughs> the video calling feature she like you know switched it on wow okay and then like you know like like one thing that i'm you know, that i can like notice in this like usually in these type especially in like not this anime obviously in like a lot of animes you know where the main character is like you know <clears throat> someone like this like you know that has like a little bit of a tsundere a kind of like a tendency they like if, if something like this happened in some other anime, the girl would probably say that, oh, like, you know, like, get mad at him, like, you know, at, at the male character. I don't know why, but yeah, that's how it actually happens, you know, in different animes, in, in a lot of animes. Which is really weird. <laughs> but... This anime does not do that thing. I've seen this before as well. Like, you know, it's in there. like Nagato, whenever he, she kind of messes up, like, at least she is, like, you know, consider, like, you know, um, considerable enough to kind of uh, admit that, yeah, it was actually my fault. Same thing happens here. She says that, like, when Seppa is saying that, oh, I'm sorry about it. And Nagato was saying, like, okay, like, no, no, it's not your fault. Like, it's, like, actually my fault. So that's really like like you know good like in my opinion because uh, even though like this whole thing of like you know the female kind of like you know <clears throat> like what is it called i think it's called something called slapstick comedy isn't it this whole slapstick comedy is funny at like you know at times but when it gets used too much it kind of gets stale you know where you see like the female character always beating up the male character for things that he like had no idea even like and he was not even at fault like like few times like it happens it's all well and good like you know like if it's like it's, if it's moderate enough like we can have a little laugh at like you know the main character's expense and it's funny but like if like that thing happens like five or six times in one episode like for like 20 or 30 episodes like uh, you know like continuously it becomes annoying that whole thing that whole slapstick comedy thing but like i'm not against that like i've seen a lot of people like you know like even if the like you know this whole thing this slapstick comedy happens and like you know the female character is kind of like you know slapping the male character or punching the male character just because of something that he probably had no control over and he didn't do like you know so like those kind of things like uh, a lot of people kind of you know get like mad at that and i can understand that but I usually do not get bothered at that because I know this is like a type of a comedy which I'm sure like, you know, a lot of people do not do not appreciate. But I myself have no problem with that. Like, you know, it, it's called slapstick comedy. And like, you know, like the, the like the meaning of slapstick comedy is as far as I know is like, you know, like beating someone up or like, you know, kind of like funnily punching or okay, let me just check the actual meaning. Like, uh, I think it's called slapstick comedy. Just a sec. Like slapstick comedy is very prominent in uh, anime, very much. Okay, it's primarily physical kind of comedy. There you go, based around uh, pratfalls and mild comic violence. Like you know, smacks in the head, pokes in the eye, people falling down. Uh, if it's often th thought as a low comedy, some of the there you go. Yeah, like that's what I was saying. You know, the slapstick thing, like you know, like having. Like, you know, kind of going physical, smacking, like, you know, beating up, kind of like, you know, like, kind of like pushing someone or like, you know, slapping them across the face for stuff that, like, you know, the person probably did not do, you know, like laughing at their expense. That's called slapstick comedy. And anime has this a lot, you know, 
like you know like every anime has this this kind of slapstick comedy at even like you know in smaller degree most of the animes have it <clears throat> so i'm really not bothered like i've seen a lot of people get bothered by that but like you know but if that happens like you know five or six times in a single episode and it continues for like you know a full season like you know every episode the same thing happens again and again and again it kind of becomes still and that's when i have a problem with it so <clears throat> anyways i'm going in a completely wrong like you know different direction as i was saying like you know naruto does not have that at all like in, in a way like you know she's kind of teasing and like you know like bullying senpai but that this is not slapstick comedy in my opinion uh like because of the thing that we saw in the like you know like uh, all the time whenever naruto kind of like makes a mistake she kind of says that oh, okay like it's my fault like you know I, like you know it's not your fault as we saw in this episode in the end and it's not that she suddenly says that oh like you know it's like you know even though it's my fault like you know it's your fault so i'll beat you up it's not like this something like this like you know that's what we see in a lot of animes but this is not it so that's one thing that i really appreciate <clears throat> And as I said, like, you know, it's really fresh. Like, I thought, like, you know, like, you know, a lot of times I thought that how are they even going to, like, you know, bring up new ideas? Like, this is like a slice of life, like, you know, uh, a show, like, which doesn't even have any kind of particular goal. You know, like, these type of animes, like, keeping new ideas, fresh ideas coming and continuing the anime is a very tough job, you know, because usually in an anime or a manga has, like, a certain goal. Like, yeah, I'm going to become the Hokage. <laughs> <laughs> or i'm like you know i have something to do like you know like some kind of, even in slice of life animes you know like the, the this grow goals like small little goals that the characters have but these type of animes like you know for example nagatoro uzaki and uh a lot of other mangas i know like un, uh, like this this manga called anzo san i think I, I think that's the name and you know a lot of other ma mangas like this which has this kind of like you know two main characters who is like everything's focused on them that type of slice of life like you know show so these type of thing like you know uh, stories it's difficult to keep them continuing because since there's no goal they need new ideas to kind of like you know put in each and every episode each and every chapter like new ideas which like you know so that it does not get stale so it's pretty difficult and i am really like you know like i'm seeing like they are able to properly do this in naruto like nothing is there like every episode is like a new thing you know like like Nagatoro brings up new ways of bullying and teasing him and senpai kind of like you know does his own does his own thing senpai is also changing his character is also developing Nagatoro is also changing as time goes by the other characters are also changing and yeah that's great you know i really like this like you know this thing of this anime this 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 aspect of the anime so yeah i'm not sure how much like you know uh ahead the manga actually is but i think it's still ongoing so yeah that's good you know they like they still have fresh ideas that means so yeah i don't know we'll probably get a, a new season like a second season i'm sure this like you know naruto is quite popular like in in obviously in the manga like you know like in as a manga naruto is very popular and i'm sure it will like you know become a lot popular in the anime as well when people like you know actually understands that no this is not a bullying anime you know like you know this is not just naruto bullying senpai it's not it you know like they get like you know rid of that misconception and actually watch the anime you know for not the first episode for two three four or five episodes like, you know i'm sure like they'll understand the whole misconception will go away but yeah this is great like you know like one like obviously that's like you know the manga was so amazing i read the first few chapters and i loved it so obviously like the anime like with its production quality and how like the animations and everything it's so good like we can see like they took actual care in making this adaptation and i'm really glad and i really hope like you know they have a second season as well this is the eighth episode so not much left yeah so yeah guys uh, that was it that was my uh reaction to nagat ijanai the nagato san episode number eight so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or your opinion anything you want to share i'll check them out so yeah guys i'll be back with another episode of ijiranai the nagatoro san next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day